today's topic is on rape. That's a really intense one, that's a big one, and a really important one to unravel. So even for people who have not experienced that in this lifetime, I guarantee you all of humanity has had that kind of experience because of the distortions around sexuality. So somewhere in your life stream, you have been a perpetrator of rape and you have also been a victim of rape, okay? So that also will affect your feelings around shame around sexuality, inhibitions around sexuality, judgments around sexuality, distortions around sexuality. All of those feelings can be contributed to the violations and perpetration of rape, okay? So before we get started in our actual clearing, we're going to actually be doing some tracking into um, uh, you know, past lives and also into agreements, things that, that occurred, conclusions drawn, so we can unravel this really, really deeply. And also, if you have been raped, I'm just going to encourage you to listen to this repeatedly until you feel no charge at all. And that is very possible. Okay, so a little information first so you have an understanding. I want you all to remember and to know and get that this is not your first incarnation. You may not believe it, doesn't really matter. You're a soul evolving and you have direct experiences to know yourself in all ways. How are you going to do that? By having it firsthand. Someone telling you something, that's one thing, you don't get it. Like if you've not been raped in this lifetime and someone that you know has, you cannot know what they have lived. It is not possible. Okay? <clears throat> you cannot have understanding, empathy, and you won't really get it. But when you have direct experience, then you know. It's like having a baby. If you've not had one, you think you know what it's like, but you can't know until it happens. Okay? So <clears throat> with this happening in this lifetime, that means that it has happened before. It may have happened many times before, not just once. Okay? So, partly what is happening is, it's really important that you really get this piece. I think this is like vital for people to understand. Everyone is a divine being. Everyone is creator incarnate. You get that in your head, you can hear the words and go, oh yeah, yeah. But you don't have it viscerally. Viscerally means that you really know it and you're living it and you're expressing that. In order to do that, you have to clear out all these um, traumas and shocks and, and injuries and pain and anguish and, and traumas that you've experienced in order for you to really land deeply inside of yourself. So what you've done is you have called things in. If you're creator incarnate and you are creating your reality, co-creating it with others 100%, then in some way you have to understand that, oh, I've called this in. I've drawn this to me so I can unravel it and be done with it and not have to keep doing it over and over and over. So when I start tracking into someone's past life, I'm actually going to do that just to get a sense of how deeply this goes. But it's also going to help everyone who's in this process because we're going to go into everyone's past lives and start unraveling and clearing the traumas that have called this back in. So a reminder you have energy that it gets carried forth in your soul imprint. So when you leave the physical body, whatever you have lived in this particular incarnation, all the traumas, all the shocks, all the conclusions drawn, all your beliefs, all your griefs, all emotional tr experiences, emotional pain, it stays with you unless you have unraveled it. Okay? How do we unravel anything? Firstly, you have to know it. Which means, if, you go, if you're being raped and you leave your body, which most people do, even though they can still see and remember the energy or the experiences, part of you does leave your body. So you are not fully present in your body while this is occurring. <clears throat> you have left. So in order to unravel any kind of energy, any kind of emotion, you have to be 100% in your physical body, fully aware, fully conscious, fully awake, and present to what is, what is happening and what you are feeling and experiencing in your physical body. If you are not, that trauma stays in your body 
and it will be carried forth into your uh, subsequent lifetimes and you will draw it to you again and if you don't unravel it then, then you're going to do it again. If you don't unravel it then, you're going to do it again and so on and so on and so on until you unravel it. The traumas in your energy field and your soul imprint are like a magnet in your physical body and you're sending out frequencies to draw this energy to you, to draw that experience to you, to activate the feelings that you didn't unwind. There's no victim thing happening. You're calling it in because at a soul level, at a higher level, you're trying to unravel this trauma so you can be your divine self, so you can let your light shine. Can't let your light shine when you feel, have all these beliefs and feel that life is dangerous, people are going to hurt you, you're not safe, and you got all the shame and, and terror and horror inside. So of course you can't let your light shine. So with, with the energy of rape, as we start tracking that and unraveling that, we want to unravel it from the soul imprint so that this lifetime it comes to an end, which means you're not going to be bringing it forth and ha pulling it to you again in your next incarnation. Done. Finished. Over. Forever. Because you got that piece. Okay? So, so the thing is, is, okay, how many pieces of the same thing you want to keep doing? Okay? I mean, right now in our world, molestation, rape, incest, all this sexual abuse stuff is rampant. It is absurdly rampant. That's because all the different experiences and all the past lives, we didn't unwind it, we didn't unravel it, we weren't present and let it move through the body with full consciousness and full presence and let it be done, knowing it fully all the way, so that we got that lesson. So now we got people redoing, redoing over and over and over, so here we are. Here we are in the world. Okay, so <clears throat> let me just say, say something a little bit more about the unraveling, okay? You, in order to unravel anything, I don't care if it's abuse or any kind of emotional traumas that you've had, even car accidents, things where it's like really intense things that happen, you have to stay in the body. When you're in the body, you're aware of all of the sensations. And I'm going to tell you straight up, it's not easy, but you can do it. You've already lived through it, you just have to stay home and know it. So as you're in the experience, as you, when you go through the unraveling or the unwinding of emotional trauma, it means having awareness behind your eyes, feeling your physical body, allowing the energy, the emotions to come through and have them all the way, not holding back. You have to lose your mind thoughts, meaning you're no longer thinking anything. You are so in the feeling state that nothing exists but the feeling. What you're feeling, what you're experiencing, whether it's physical pain, emotional pain, it doesn't matter. You stay in the body, you stay present, and you let the energy move by feeling it. And as you do that, it literally leaves your body and you no longer carry it forward into your soul imprint. One trauma is finally erased out of your soul imprint. It's over. Okay? So, I know that it's not fun. I know it's intense. I know it's like, whoa, why would I want to do that? Well, why would you not want to do that? You've already been doing it. You're going to do it again if you don't unravel it. So you might as well unravel it. So it is intense, it's uncomfortable, it's painful, it's like, wow, and like horrifying, and yet stay in the body, stay here, let it move through, so you know it, you've learned the lesson, you got the pieces you were trying to get, and then you're done. Okay, so nothing starts in this lifetime. If we go back to where an actual, actual rape, now keep in mind too, you have not just been a victim of rape, you've also been perpetrators of rape. Okay? We're all in Creator Incarnate. We've all faced and done all the different pieces, all the different sides. We know both sides of it. So in order to unravel it fully, we have to unravel where you yourself have also done this to somebody else. Okay? So as we start tracking, what I'm looking for is I'm just looking at I'm going to use what's happened in this lifetime, okay, 
and in this lifetime. Okay, so that shows me the traumas, but it also shows me now I'm looking to see the soul imprint. I'm looking to see how deeply ingrained is this in your soul imprint. So as I track and look at that, I can see how deep the trauma is. Okay, now there's trauma that goes like it just gets seeded, meaning, meaning it gets seeded into your blood, into your bones, into your DNA, into your neurons and atoms and phot photons and the, uh, you know, all the different cells and the organs of your physical body. Okay, so depending on how intense the trauma is from these past incarnations will show me how intense or how deeply this is ingrained in your physical body, which is also going to be indicative of what you draw to you in this lifetime. Now, I know you've all heard of people being terribly beaten and raped and even killed. Now, those people also had really intense experiences in the past, but they've also done heinous crimes to others. Make sense? Okay, so you know, you, so you get to know what it feels like to be the victim, you get to know what it feels like to be the perpetrator, and on and on and on and on and on, until finally it's unraveled. This is where we get the label karma. It's not really karma, it's you're wanting to know yourself in all ways, and you're also wanting to unravel. How are you going to do that? Well, you have to have something currently happening in order to trigger these old memories, these old feelings. So as we track into your soul's imprint, tracking, I'm just going to actually, I'm just going to kind of do everybody too at the same time, a little bit different, but I'm after the rape one, and then we'll do the in molestation stuff. Okay, so as I track back into life stream energy, going back, I'm going to go back all the way to the very, very, very original experience where it all began, and then I'm going to go to the lifetime prior to that. Because the lifetime prior to that is a little bit of the setup for that next incarnation where you're either going to be the perpetrator or the victim. Okay? So when I start tracking back and I'm just watching and looking at the energy, checking it out, you know, it's like we have experiences and oftentimes when we've, when we've experienced a lot of good things, like positive things, happiness and joy, we often want to know, well, what's the other side of that? Okay? So as I look back, I'm going back into the live stream and I'm looking and yes, it's like before, before the original uh, experience of rape, there was a lifetime where it wasn't like massive joy, but there was, hang on, just give me a second here. The colors are a little different than what I normally see. So I'm seeing some orange and, okay, what does that mean? Show me what that is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so it's not that rape happened in that earlier time, but there was like a feeling of being trapped, meaning not like trapped in a prison, but um, more like being grabbed and held and, and terrified and frightened, okay? So it was kind of like the preempt to the next incarnation where major violation was going to be happening, okay? So it's kind of like the buildup. So it wasn't like a full-on rape, but it was feeling of betrayal and uh, an intense, uh, mm -hmm. okay, so it also had a feeling and a quality of like being persecuted in some way, like being blamed, um, innocence being blamed kind of a feeling, okay? So that was like getting things going. Okay, so then coming to the next one, I'm just tracking just to get a sense of, yeah. Okay, so in the next incarnation, there was like a pretty violent experience, pretty violent uh, rape. It was more than one perpetrator. It was also the same kind of feeling of being held, but this time held and, and also being held down. So oftentimes people that have been raped, it can be just one person, but then there's also times when there's more than one person involved that are the perpetrators. Okay, we know about that. We know that that happens. So in this particular one, it's like it is. It's a violation of several. And then also what got concluded in the energy field, which is really important to unravel, is the feeling of helplessness, hopelessness, the feeling that no matter what you do, 
you can't stop something. It, ha it really goes into a helpless feeling, feeling helpless and also hopeless. It also is going to go into feelings like betrayals, abandonment. You're going to have feelings like you want your mother, you want your father, you want the protector to be with you. There's going to be feelings of blaming them even though they haven't done anything. This is all emotional stuff that we go through when we've been violated in any way. We, we blame our parents, we want them to be there, we're mad at them. So the, all kinds of emotional energy start to happen with this kind of experience. It doesn't matter how old you are. You could be 80 years old and being violated, you're still going to want your mother, you're still going to want your dad to protect you. Okay, so in that, there's, there's trauma that gets seeded in, but also what's really important is that those beliefs, those conclusions, those conclusions get anchored in to the soul imprint as well, and you carry those forward. And what happens is, is no matter what lifetime you come into, you're always going to have a feeling that the world's not safe, you can't trust anyone, not even your most beloved, okay? There'll be a little bit of a barrier, a little bit of a wall that you'll always have until all of this energy is released and released and removed, unwound. Your mind will never be able to unravel it, so you might as well give that up. Your mind cannot understand it, it can't figure it out, it's not possible. This is a deep unraveling that goes into the core. Now oftentimes too, this kind of trauma gets seated in the soul, the seat of the soul, meaning it's like that, the, where the, the, the seat of the soul, when you come, where your soul energy comes into your physical body, into the physicality, there's like what we call the seat of the soul. And in the seat of the soul, it also holds a lot of the trauma. So we want to release at that level, at that energetic level. So this is a little bit different than just releasing the conclusions and releasing energy out of past lives and out of the physical body. We're also releasing energy at the seat of the soul. Does that make sense? I'm thinking. Okay, so yes, that part of you where you come in and you land in the physical body that anchors you in. It's more like that lower first, kind of almost like first and second chakra areas, seat of the soul. It's like sitting down, you know, kind of like seated. So unraveling at that level is like vital. So if you don't get that at that level, then you're still not done, okay? So we want to unravel really, really deeply. So what also happens is you begin to believe that there's something wrong with you, that you've caused this, that it's your fault, you must have done something wrong, you're to blame, and then also the energies of like shame, humiliation. Most people that have been raped are not going to go around telling the world, oh yeah, I was raped. Most of them go into hiding. They don't want to tell anybody. It's a secret because it's a horror. And somehow you just feel tainted, you feel dirty, you feel shame, you feel nasty, you feel like, you know, yucky, yucky. And then two, you've got the perpetrator's energy in your energy field. You're going to carry it forward throughout all your incarnations. The energy of rape is a major violation. Someone who's doing that, it isn't about you. It isn't about the victim. It's about the perpetrator. Okay, if we forget all the past lives, forget all that, and we just go into current, current life, the, of whatever that lifetime was, the person, the perpetrator, they got something going on where there's a lot of anger, or they got a lot of shame, or they've been abused. I mean, there's all kinds of different causes for the perpetrator to literally attack another human being, to cause harm to another. They're still not feeling and sensing the feelings of the, the, of the victim. It's all about them. Everything is about them and what they feel. Okay? So, keep in mind that this isn't just you being the victim, it's also you also being the perpetrator. So you have had lifetimes where you're experiencing intense feelings and you're taking it out on an innocent or seemingly innocent, okay? And causing harm, causing trauma, causing shock. So we also want to pull back your energy out of the lifetimes where you have been the perpetrator. This is like really, this is like a big, big unwinding, okay? 
So you're not just unwinding emotions, you're unwinding trauma, all kinds of different levels, different uh, degrees of shock and trauma and shame and all the emotions that go with that. So in order to really go deep, once again, the key is, can you let yourself, if you have memory of a rape or if you don't have memory and you blanked out, but somehow you just have a sense of, all you need to do is think about the issue, think about somebody else being raped that you've heard about, notice your reaction in your body, because your reaction is lighting up the energy that I need to see to unravel. So when you think about that issue, when you think about even hearing or reading about somebody being raped, violently raped, or you know, just even raped, just notice what that feels like inside. If you have memory of being raped, then you're gonna bring that, you're gonna let yourself remember, okay? And the key is don't try to stop the feelings, the memories, the emotions, the sensations, the thoughts. Don't stop anything, let it come. Let it rise, let it move, let it be there. In doing so, what happens is, is your energy field shows me, it lights up all the different components and all the different pieces in your energy field. And that way it makes for an easier and a deeper unraveling. Okay? Now remember too, you're gonna to call my presence in. You need me to be right there because you have no idea. All you have to do is ask and I'll be there. It's not a big deal. Other people do it all the time. Um, so don't be thinking anything unusual. It's just like, call me in. I'll come. You'll feel me. I'll talk to you. You know, you'll feel my presence. Okay, I'll be working it. So you can listen to this a thousand times if needed. Well, you probably won't need to, but let's hope maybe ten times and you're good. But basically, you just kind of like, call me in. You're going to feel me. I will be putting my hands in your energy field, and I will be moving energy. I will be tracking your past lives. I'll be unraveling. Just as I'm speaking what we're doing right here, it will be happening. Okay? So I need you to help me find the deepest layers. And the way you do that is to feel whatever you can feel. Okay? Now, I know that sometimes things that are scary when we've had an intense rape, and it can be like really, really intense, and just the thought of that can feel like you can't handle it. Okay, but I'm going to remind you, you've already lived through it. You have already lived through it. Now it's time to be willing to move the energy, which means facing it. Okay, so facing it, I'm going to, you know, I know it's not easy, and you can do it. You can do it, all right? So let's go ahead and start unraveling this energy. So what I want you to do, so for, even for people who have not had that happen in this lifetime, I want you to think about others. Think about something you read about or you heard about or you saw it on the news or somewhere in your life you have heard about a rape. I know you have, okay? So I want you to think about that, and I want you to allow the energy, allow the feelings, whatever presents in your body, you're going to allow it. You're going to totally allow it to happen. 